senior government figures are fighting to keep secret their formula for deciding which of Victoria's level crossings will be removed. Some of the most dangerous intersections in the city haven't been touched yet, and business figures and the opposition want to know why. It's a sound all too familiar to Melburnians. And it's one rip and lee traders like John will have to live with for the foreseeable future. The boom gates have been a, an issue since day one, um, are constantly breaking down, uh, causing traffic chaos. There's no plans to remove it, even though it's one of the riskiest in the state, according to an assessment conducted in 2008. And we want to understand why and on what basis has the government prioritised level crossing removals? Since coming to government in 2014, Labor has removed 67 level crossings with plans to remove 110 by 2030. There are concerns about how these level crossings are being picked. Dr Brian Duggan launched a freedom of information request against the government to find out after level crossings in Essendon were overlooked. All I'm asking for is that data on congestion and danger. Now the government is battling that request in court to prevent the information getting out. It's an awful lot of money to withhold information that should be available to the public. If the level crossings that they've got on their list are the ones that are a priority, just release the report, show us, uh, and then we can all get on with it. This level crossing is on the Sandringham line, where there are no plans to remove any of the 11 level crossings despite the level of risk. We can't have the government dictate these major projects based on what's a marginal seat. Victorians voted for those uh, removals, so there's been um, open disclosure. Patrick Murrell for 10 News First.